All right, hey, so last time I showed you how to clean the laser head, um, taking that apart and clean this out. It probably needs cleaned again, but I'm not gonna focus on that this time. Um, what we're gonna work on is cleaning everything else in here, showing you what this Pang Shang uh, grease is for, because it took me a while to figure this out, but I got it. And then uh, just the things I usually use. So I have a bowl of water so I can dip this in, wipe things down, and I have dry paper towels. All right, so first thing you want to do, especially if you have the base, is you want to move all this down. Take this out. You can just take this and clean it out separately. Don't have to worry about that. This, you can take paper towels, wipe it, wipe it down. But I like to dump out all the uh, little sticks. But for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide this back in. very bottom rack. This will give me more space to move all this around. So let me turn this on. Get the light on in there. Let this reset. And there we are. All right, so first things first, I'm gonna dip a little bit of this in here. And just start wiping down everything on the inside. Don't want it like dripping, you just want it moist, okay? Get these rails. Try not to leave any fibers behind. But just for this video, I'm gonna go ahead and speed up this part. Just know that you need to wipe out everything inside of here, okay? Hey, one thing you're gonna notice is there's gonna be like a sappy buildup from all the wood. Um, you can actually get this off here if you want. I'm not too worried about it on this pan, but like you can get that off there. It, it's, I, I don't know how exactly it works, but you get this really weird sticky stuff that comes from <clears throat> all the laser engraving, especially if you do a lot of wood. All right, so next we're gonna use this Peng Sheng uh, sauce, no, the Peng Sheng uh, lubrication that came with this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna wipe this off, which I already did when I was cleaning it. I'm gonna wipe off any of these rails. There's one up underneath here as well. Don't forget to get that. There's one over on the side, top and bottom. Same on the other side. There's one on the top. Then there's one down here on the bottom. And you want to lubricate all these. And I'm going to show you how to do this. So you only need a little bit. All right. So, hey, what we got to do is we need to lubricate 
all these rails. So we have the Peng Shang uh, grease or lubrication. Basically, we're gonna take it and put on these rails. This should already be wiped down because you had done that during the cleaning process. You put a little bit on there. When you open the bottle, you may have to cut this cap off the end, but you'll dab a little bit. Just like that. Not a whole lot. Then I'm going to push this back and forth over it a few times. All the way over, go all the way to the wall. And then you need to do the other side as well. I'll just kind of dab it along so it smooths out easier. You also have top rails, don't forget these. These ones up here. You have rails on the side. One, two, three, four, five, five, six. And you also have seven right here. So what you'll do is put this on here. You have to let that spring up and down a few times. But yeah, just ride it back and forth a few times. Now I put a little bit on the top, so I need to do this side as well. Not a lot of instructions inside the X tool setup that tells you exactly what the Peng Sheng sauce is or <laughs> lubricant. The Peng Sheng grease is for. Alright, so let this go back and forth a few times. You just want to make sure it's all lubricated. And then push this back. You have to do the same thing. You have to get the front ends, and then you have to do the back ends. So Dab, 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 and up all the At the end of all this. You know what? Let me get this side as well. Then you also need to get back behind it. Those areas you wouldn't have got otherwise. All right. Let's push it back several times. So now what they say to do is that you are supposed to take dry paper towel and just kind of give it a little wipe. You don't want to take all the lube off. You want to leave some on there. We'll just kind of get some of that excess off that's in on there because you can see in the video there's little drops that are still left over. We don't want to over lubricate all this. And that's what the Peng Shang uh, grease is for. And then I know this isn't like spotless, but this is the gist of what you need to do. Just clean out everything, all the dust off everything you possibly can. There is one more step, and that is back in here. You can clean out the fan from this side, and then you can unscrew it and clean out from the inside, which I'll probably do a separate video for that, but I don't plan on doing that one right now. So as far as the machine goes, the interior is cleaned, the bars are re-lubricated, everything is good to go.